The day is finally here. After months of preparation and build up, I finally get the chance to jump on a plane and head over to America to do something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Say bye, say bye, see you soon. We're off to America. When I decided to go on this adventure, everything initially sounded just like a whole heap of fun. And don't get me wrong, I'm really looking forward to the trip, but everything in the lead up to this holiday has been really stressful. My biggest issue is I don't know what hat to take. There's too many options. Of all the things that you need to pack, and I'm worried the most about my hats. So luggage was um, 14 kilos. So that means I've got nine kilos spare in that main bag. Yeah. I'll buy two more for 50 kilos, and this is four kilos. Four, so you've got three to go, yeah. So I've got three plus nine, that's 12, and then two other bags yeah. for, say, 55. So we're looking at about 67 kilos for the trip. You know how when you pack a bag and you're always like... I'm always like that. I'm sure there's something oh. that I'm missing. When it comes to dealing with any change, I always go through internal thoughts of doubt. What if I'm wrong? What will people think of me? What if I fail? These are all thoughts that start to creep in as something new draws closer. First time in New Zealand. Two and a half hour flight, wasn't too bad. We've got a big one to go though. Auckland to LA. I think I might go and get some food. Hey there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. But if I think back to some of the best moments in my life, they all started with an element of risk and doubt. A good example would be choosing two years ago to quit my nine to five job to pursue a self-employed life of selling on eBay and starting this YouTube channel was definitely one of the biggest moments and biggest decisions I've ever made in my life. And there were plenty of reasons to not go ahead, but if I didn't push away those internal fears, thoughts, doubts, I would never have been able to achieve everything that I have over the last two years. To have been able to build up this eBay business into what it is today and to be able to grow this YouTube channel into 8,500 subscribers. And even trips like this, these cool work trips that now are a part of my life, just would not have been possible if I didn't pull the trigger and commit to something even with all those doubts in my mind. $6 for a bottle of water. I'm gonna go broke in about three days. I'm not gonna be the first person that tells you this and I certainly won't be the last, but life really is short. We only get a small window of opportunity to really go after the things that we want to in this world. And I've always kind of had that mindset and it's allowed me to grow into the sort of person that I guess goes after everything that's on my mind. And I really think for anyone out there that's, that's sitting on the fence and they wanna do something and they, they just don't know how, I think you should just commit. Commit to doing the first small little step that you can to get yourself into the direction of where you wanna go.
Well, we made it. it. Took a long time, but we're here. We've made it to Vegas. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting to the hotel and then working out what to do. Hey boss, how are you? Take this one in with me. The fear will always be there. I've come to realize with any big decision that I've ever made in my life, there is always that element of fear that things could possibly go wrong. But I think you have to ask yourself, what are you most afraid of? Is it the fear of failure or what people will think of you? Or are you more afraid of that fear stopping you from ever starting in the first place?